Okay, so uh, thank you all for uh, attending this final uh, Applied PD talk at the University of Washington, uh, final talk of uh, 2021. Um, the talk today is by uh, Dr. Hong Chen, who is uh, currently at the University of Toronto. I think he wishes he was at the University of Kentucky, but there's been some, uh, there's been this pandemic thing going on that you may have heard about. Um, so, uh, but let me introduce uh, um, Dr. Chen. He uh, received his PhD from the University of Chicago under the direction of uh, Willem Slag. Uh, and then uh, since then, uh, he's been first at the Field Institute and then at the University of Toronto, a postdoctoral fellow. And I believe soon he'll be moving to the uh, University of Kentucky. Today, he'll be talking to us about nonlinear modulation and instability of the Stokes waves in 2D full water waves. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Bernard, for the uh, introduction. And uh, thank you very much for the uh, invitation. It's a great honor for me to do this final talk this year. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to talk about nonlinear modulation instability uh, of Stokes wave in 2D. This is a drawing work with Qing Tang Shu from USC. So let me, let me start from the outer outline of this talk. So I first, uh, first of all, I will introduce Stokes wave. Then I will formulate, I will show you the main result. Then I then I will try to illustrate the main idea to approach the two uh, of our work. Uh, two key ideas are uh, uh, modulation or approximation by unless equation and uh, the instability of uh, unless. All right. Um, what is the what the, what the, what is Stokes wave? Stokes wave. Uh, it's a periodic symmetric. Uh, uh, symmetric water wave traveling at a constant speed. One can see that, uh, for example, uh, here the picture is not that good. Typically, uh, we refer to uh, the Stokes wave. Uh, if I cut this uh, tank horizontally by, um, by, by something here, then this periodic traveling wave will be referred as a Stokes wave. Uh, let me see if I can share, share a video to show uh, to, to show this. Um, give me one second. I think I have my video here. Uh, uh, let me see if I can play this. Uh, uh, one second. Um, Uh, can, uh, can you allow me to share uh, share something from my um, so this kind of shape uh, in this this tank can be viewed as uh, Stokes wave. Um, all right. Uh, let let me uh, let me go back to my uh, to uh, to my slides. Uh, I, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, quite. Uh, typical phenomena in practical in daily life. For example, I got this picture from uh, uh, from Wikipedia. This kind of wave uh, wave periodic wave phenomena uh, can be uh, can be uh, can be viewed as uh, more or less like Stokes wave. Okay, then uh, let me show you the the picture. Um, uh, this kind of periodic traveling wave uh, uh, was, uh, was formally constructed by Stokes in uh, 1847. And uh, in particular, uh, there is a Stokes wave of greatest height, and uh, the angle, uh, there is a special angle here, one uh, uh, two third pi, uh, two third pi, so it is of great, great height. Um, so rigorously, uh, um, rigorously by, uh, by mathematical method, uh, the existence of Stokes wave uh, is proved by the Vesivita, uh, Nekrasov, <laughs> and uh, other people. Uh, for large amplitude, it's proved by Krasov, Visky. Um, there are also some rigorous uh, mass analysis for extreme Stokes wave, for example, by Tolan and uh, uh, his group. Also, uh, I think uh, 
Constantine will go on this with some vertices. I forgot, uh, I forgot the details. Uh, sorry about this. Okay. Um, the main topic today you know, is the modulation of instability. So Stokes wave is, uh, is subject to the modulation of instability if the wave number and uh, the height of the the depth of the water water satisfy this condition. Um, what is modulation or instability? Uh, I co I copy this from Wikipedia. Uh, but uh, uh, this uh, this uh, maybe I don't need to I don't need to re re repeat repeat this uh, word by word. Overall, it says that uh, Stokes wave is unstable under long wave perturbation. And uh, uh, this, this phenomenon was predicted by Benjamin Fear and uh, Wiesman. Uh, later on, this phenomenon is also uh, observed in other dispersive models. So here, here let me show you another video directly to see, then we can see uh, what does it mean by uh, modulational instability. Uh, let me share this, share video again. Um, one second. I also got this. I also got this video from YouTube. If we just type a uh, Stokes wave modulation or instability. So at the beginning, we have a perfect periodic traveling wave. Then under the long wave perturbation, after a while, the shape. Uh, uh, maybe I push too too fast. So the shape of the periodic wavefront start to break down. Um, as time goes, it completely uh, becomes uh, the shape is completely destroyed. Um, uh, yes, now we don't have the uh, we don't even have the periodic structure anymore. All right. Uh, so let me go back to my slides. All right, so here, this is the modulation of instability, it just says that a periodic wave front uh, after some perturbation, uh, it's uh, uh, because uh, due to the nonlinear effect, uh, you will uh, generate a, a spectrum segment and uh, eventually break up the wave front in. All right, so the, here, here I also uh, steal something from Benjamin's paper. So this is some, uh, we have some periodic shape, then later on completely uh, destroy here. So this is uh, the description I got from Benjamin's uh, paper. He just says that uh, the periodic wave front is completely destroyed and the spectrum become quite, quite different. All right, so to understand the modulation of instability, uh, of course, as PD analyst, uh, the, first, uh, the, first, uh, the, first, uh, the first natural approach is uh, we linearize the equation uh, around Stokes wave. Now we look at the spectrum of the linearized operator. So I got these pictures from uh, uh, the conic and the Olivera's uh, paper. So uh, here, the linearized operator uh, L here, epsilon denotes the size of the Stokes wave, mu denotes the frequency of the perturbation. Then eventually then uh, the spectrum is given by uh, uh, a figure eight and the least uh, uh, away from the imaginary uh, 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 the, 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 the eigenvalue here, the eigenvalue here will show us the instability in at a linear level. Uh, this figure eight also appear in many other models. For example, GKDV and the NLS in particular, NLS with uh, also Wiesman equation and the sine Gordon equation. Uh, in particular, this picture will, will be important to us because uh, uh, this is our motivation to use NLS approximation 
uh, to water wave problem. All right. uh, so let me uh, let me sketch a little bit about the literature of uh, modulational instability for rigorous uh, rigorous mathematical proof. Uh, Bridges and um, and his collaborator prove uh, the linear modulational instability for the finite depth problem in 1990. And uh, two years ago, Nguyen and Strauss they prove uh, the linear modulational instability for arbitrary uh, arbitrary depths, finite depths or infinite depths. I think in their paper, they describe the instability of this figure eight. Uh, in this uh, in the, in this region, not the whole not the whole picture, but uh, but it's enough to show the instability. Then recently, by Bertie and his collaborators, they give a, a full description of this figure A. So uh, this, but uh, this uh, this uh, this remarkable work and the real interesting and remarkable uh, remarkable work uh, all this work are about uh, linear uh, linear instability okay just all, all of these are linear i also hope to comment that uh Stokes wave is also subject to high frequency instability uh layer two oh. uh, can i get rid of this uh, it's the, for example, there are two recent papers by her and the young and the group by uh, Deconic. Uh, so uh, our goal uh, with Qingtang, we, uh, we, uh, we try to prove the modulational instability in, at a non-linear level. Well, uh, people might think uh, from the linear, linear instability to non-linear instability, we might just use some uh, PK iteration or this uh, bootstrap argument, one can easily push the linear problem to the nonlinear level. But uh, in uh, in this water wave problem, it's not true. Uh, uh, for some maybe for semi linear semi linear problem, uh, one can easily to adapt the linear problem to the nonlinear problem. But but uh, the water wave problem is a quasi linear problem. And it's also a non-local non equation. So to obtain the uh, non-linear instability from the linearized level, it's uh, it's it's very hard. So in, uh, with Qing Tang, instead of working on uh, to to prove uh, the the non-linear instability from the linear level directly, we we uh, we use the modulational approximation by Unless, unless, uh, we uh, we think this this way is quite natural because uh, our goal is to prove uh, modulational instability, um, and we can use uh, unless to do modulational approximation. If we, if we, if the instability from unless can be um, can be propagated to the instability of Stokes Stokes, I mean to the instability given by the unless. Can be propagated to the instability given by the water wave. Then modulational approximation give modulo modulational instability is sounds quite reasonable to us. All right. So this. So we just. I hope just to emphasize we uh, we use modulational approximation instead of uh, direct uh, linearizing the equation near Stokes Stokes wave. Uh, formal, formally, let me pre first pre present the formal result. So a stock wave proof that for a sufficiently small Stokes wave, it's nonlinear. It's nonlinear modulational. Uh, uh, it's nonlinearly modulational unstable under long wave perturbation. Uh, key ideas are modulational approximation by unless. Uh, also, the instability mechanism for the focusing cubic unless. Uh, this, this point is explicitly computable, and this, po uh, this point uh, requires a lot of careful work. Uh, so, before, uh, uh, 
before I, uh, I mean, before I present the quantitative version of our result, I need some, I need some terminology to set up the problem. So we consider, uh, as I say, we consider the water wave problem in 2D with infinite, de infinite depths. So we assume the, the, the fluid is incompressible and inviscous. So if, uh, and uh, I, I assume there is no surface tension, then the water, the, water wave, uh, the water wave model is given by the equation one here. This is the water region and uh, this is the interface. Um, uh, also, I normalize the velocity to be uh, to be one. Um, okay, this is the this is nothing but the momentum equation. This uh, this is a uh, uh, incompressible condition, and uh, this is in rotational, and uh, the pressure is uh, is zero along the interface. This is the free boundary condition, so the the fluid particle won't leave uh, the the fluid domain. Okay. So this is in 2D, then in 2D we can identify, uh, we can identify, uh, we can identify, we can identify um, the 2D plane with the complex plane. This, the, this two condition, uh, this two condition in particular give us that uh, V bar is uh, holomorphic. All right. Um, okay. Then we use uh, we we translate our uh, we use the Lagrangian formulation of this uh, this water wave problem. So like, we permit uh, because because uh, let me let me go back to again. So because v bar is holomorphic, then the uh, the v here is completely determined by its boundary value, so we can uh, we can reduce our analysis to the interface. Now to understand the interface, we use the Lagrangian formulation. So we pair um, the interface by some function z alpha t, the, and the, the velocity. Uh, uh, restrict to the interface is given by Z, ZT. Then uh, the acceleration is uh, all uh, is given by uh, this all this material derivative is given by the Z double T. Um, the pressure is constant along the interface. It means the gradient is orthogonal to the tangent of uh, the interface. So uh, it's I times the, the tangential derivative of the, uh, uh, the I times the tangential derivative of the interface. Okay. All right. So, but again, under this Lagrangian model, Lagrangian um, formulation, the uh, the water wave problem is uh, reduced to this uh, this system. So this is uh, the first equation is still the momentum equation, and uh, uh, the con now the condition the actual condition become uh, Z T bar is holomorphic in in the uh, water wave region. Okay, this is the Lagrangian uh, formulation, but this e but this equation. Uh, I mean, this uh, this coordinate system uh, is not so good for the study of long term behavior. To see the instability, we need to uh, we will see very soon. Soon, we need to wait for a sufficiently long time to see the instability. Um, uh, but this coordinate, uh, naive, this uh, this natural or, or naive uh, Lagrangian formulation is not. Uh, not it's not a well suited to study long time existence. Uh, we introduce a modified Lagrangian formulation. Uh, so the, the new in, in the new setting, uh, uh, the long time existence will become much easier. Uh, it's also natural because uh, we are doing we are in, we are 
analyzing a physical uh, phenomena, a physical phenomena, we just we just do a change of coordinate to see the, the picture, but uh, from different coordinate, we should see the same phenomenon. So we just need to, uh, so we need to find a better coordinate to detect the behavior of the solution. So this is uh, also a modified Lagrangian formulation. So uh, we do a change of variable and uh, there's a new, uh, we can uh, we can find a, a new Lagrangian label uh, such that uh, we have the following equation. It's a little bit complicated, but uh, uh, it's a little bit technical and uh, complicated. But uh, this uh, this system is much better to uh, compare uh, compare with the coordinate before. It's much better to study. Uh, the long term behavior because uh, for uh, uh, under these conditions, uh, for example, a minus one times uh, zeta will become a cubic term, and we know that a uh, cubic term is uh, he, here. If in this setting, potentially, uh, actually, we will have some quadratic term, but here we will uh, we will only have cubic term and. Uh, for long time existence, the cubic term is much better. All right, this is the Wolf's modified Lagrangian formulation. We will work on the instability in this coordinate. Uh, so let, let me present the existence of uh, Stokes wave in Wolf's coordinate first. So in this, uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, in this coordinate, there exists uh, Stokes wave uh, uh, with velocity omega and uh, this Lagrangian uh, I mean this uh, uh, labeling and it's parametric by its amplitude and for e, for for each for each solution we have some expansion this is the Stokes wave expansion and the velocity is also parametric by the uh, amplitude of the equal of the of the Stokes wave. This uh, this this is sort of important in our later analysis later on. But uh, just want to emphasize this. All right, this is the existence. So the existence of Stokes wave in, for example, Eulerian coordinator or Lagrangian coordinator is not is not before. We just need to translate everything into uh, Wolf's coordinate and uh, do a careful expansion. So uh, let me give some remark about this proposition. So the existence of a uh, uh, Stokes wave in Eulerian coordinate in or Eulerian coordinate is known before, and this is the uh, this is the expansion. So it uh, is the elevation of the Stokes wave. Now, when we look at the expansion of this Stokes wave, we can see a lot of frequency. This is three, uh, two, and one. Yes, we, we have these three uh, different frequency. So if I use the Euler coordinate to, to consider the interaction, I mean, to consider the, the, instabi the instability, then these three frequencies, three frequencies, will inter interact with each other, and the analysis become quite complicated. But let's let's go back to the expansion in Wolf's coordinate. The, we just have one non-trivial frequency. Well, this is just complex. The, although I might say this is a different frequency, but uh, they are compared with the frequency in the Euler coordinate, this, the frequency appears in this expansion is much easier. Uh, I think this is quite remarkable uh, uh, for Wolf's coordinate. All right, so this is uh, the common about uh, the existence of Stokes wave in Wolf's coordinate. Uh, so what the, with this preparation, I can start to show our result quantitatively. So given uh, 
uh, consider Stokes wave of period order uh, period two pi and uh, assume the amplitude is small enough. Then we consider a long wave perturbation. This Q is uh, large, uh, larger than one over epsilon. Uh, we consider a perturbation of two Q pi. And uh, we assume the in the initial perturbation is of size epsilon 21 half times delta, little delta. All right. And uh, in, partic in particular, uh, uh, in particular, this is a uh, perturbation. And, uh, uh, and I then let uh, zeta alpha t and uh, to be the perturbed solution to the water wave system with the uh, with this data is uh, with initial data of this. Then we have the following. Uh, then we have the following result. So uh, the perturbed solution exists on a time scale epsilon three minus two and uh, this log one over delta. Um, moreover. Uh, if I take uh, I use the soup uh, take soup here, the stock the Stokes wave with uh I mean the Stokes wave with the, this as initial data will be away from the family of Stokes wave with a lower bound. So this mean this term here gamma and the phi mean so it's, it means here. This V means I can shift it, and the gamma means I can mod I can uh, I can mo I can modify to the amplitude of the uh, the Stokes wave a little bit. Um, so the initial perturbation is of size epsilon one half to the delta to times delta. Then uh, eventually it will away from the the family of Stokes wave. With a lower bound like this, this uh, this c is independent of delta. So uh, so overall, we can from this theorem, we can conclude uh, we can conclude that um, uh, the, uh, under the long wave perturbation, eventually the perturbed solution will away from the family of Stokes wave, and in particular, this theorem shows the modulation the nonlinear modulation or instability of Stokes wave. I hope I'm not uh, too fast or too uh, yeah, I, I hope I'm not lost in lost in everyone. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, questions please. You're good. Please proceed. Oh, thank you. Uh, let me make some uh, remarks. So I circle here. This is this is quite this this scale is quite important. So for for example, if I forget about the Stokes wave, consider the Cauchy problem of periodic gravity water wave. Uh, in the paper by Bertie Bert, Fiora, Fiora Pusateri, they obtained a lot of the existence. Uh, the, the time scale is all of all the epsilon three minus three, okay? But we need the, uh, in order to see the instability, you will see this very soon. Uh, in order to see the instability, we need this extra log one over delta. This delta is independent of epsilon. So for example, I can take a, epsilon, uh, a delta of this amplitude then this this time scale is much is much larger than the time, the time the existing the time scale for the long time existence uh, for general water wave problem. Okay, uh, so this is one one of the key difficulty for us. All right, um, this uh, this theorem is formulated in the modified Lagrangian uh, uh, coordinate. But we can easily uh, translate the instability into the uh, the Euler coordinate, uh, which I mean is by the, we can easily translate this separation, this separation, uh, to the, in terms of the elevation, 
the elevation will finally away from the elevation of the family of Stokes wave. Okay. Um, uh, our computation uh, is somewhat based on the modulation or approximation. So uh, we can see from the concrete computation, um, we can uh, the create uh, we can see from the explicit computation the creation of large scale. Uh, and in particular, we can see explicitly the wave front of the original Stokes wave is break uh, is break down. I will show you the explicit uh, formulas later on. So uh, let me, let me repeat myself. The essential ingredients of uh, of the proof is the la linearly uh, la linear modulation or instability of one d cubic unless also the modulation or uh, approximation by LS. In particular, we need to justify this approximation for a sufficiently long time scale, epsilon to the minus two to the log one of delta. Okay. Uh, so I mentioned modulation or approximation many times. So let me formally say it's what the modulation or instead uh, formally say it's what the modulation or approximation is. So for for the inter uh, we consider a wave uh, wave uh, wave package like a solution. Uh, just like I can do uh, for for a uh, uh, wave or uh, what the what the uh, wave of uh, amplitude epsilon. I can do the form the following uh, formal expansion. Now I can then I can take this term out. This term as a wave package equal half it's of this form. Then uh, we, uh <coughs> sorry. Um, then we will show we will show that uh, this in, in this B. This B, this B will solve a, um, this B will solve a NLS. Okay, this is the form, formal NLS uh, modulation or approximation. In particular, uh, if I consider a Stokes wave, this 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 capital B for the is the is is I in the expansion for the Stokes wave. Then when I consider the perturbation of the Stokes wave, it will be uh, the natural candidate will be B, B equals I plus a perturbation. Okay. Uh, how to, how to uh, from a multi-scale uh, analysis, uh, do the expansion with respect to epsilon here, you see there's epsilon, there's epsilon. So when we do the uh, multi-scale uh, analysis, the, 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 the capital B, will solve the following equation at least. Um, now I can rescale this B and uh, this, uh, after this rescaling uh, and the more this uh, multiplication by this 120T, uh, we will see that uh, the, the U here explicitly solve a focusing cubic LS. Okay, this is a cubic NLS. And uh, uh, by doing the same com uh, com uh, computation here, the, the spatial solution corresponding to the Stokes wave uh, for the cubic NLS is I e to the I t. So, um, so the next natural step is to consider the stability instability of e to the i t uh, as a spatial solution to the focusing cubic unless all right then we will if this is unstable we will see if we can use the uh, we can use the modulation analysis the modulation or approximation that I discussed here to propagate this uh, instability back to the water wave problem all right. So for the modulation or approximation, I have some comments. Uh, Zakharov first uh, derived NS from 2D water wave formula, you were formerly from, uh, from infinite depths, also for the fine depths, it was derived by Hashimoto and Ono. Uh, 
the following infinite depth in this was uh, was in two D was rigorously justified by Toads and the Wu. Um, but the case they justify is the water wave. Uh, the initial data is in some sublip spaces and uh, they are at rest at spatial infinity. Uh, my course, uh, Qin Tang Wen, Qin Tang Shu, he justified uh, NS from water wave problem uh, uh, with uh, this initial data. So in particular, it's not, not necessary to be at rest at spatial infinity. And uh, in particular, this also justified the peregrine soliton in, in the water wave problem. For the finite depth, uh, the justification is given by Dewey, Snyder, and uh, Wen. Uh, also, uh, also some recent work by Infram and Tataru. Okay, so so this uh, the, the, this time scale appear again. So the key, the main difference from our current settings is that in pre all the previous uh, justification, they justified the modulation or approximation up to a time scale of epsilon three minus two. Uh, this is also natural from the, the scaling the scaling here. Oh, sorry, the scaling here. Okay. All the justification is up to epsilon three minus two, but in our case, we need some extra. We need this extra factor, and uh, here in our setting. The wave, the speed of the the wave package depends on the amplitude. It's not constant anymore. In all the previous work, this uh, the velocity is uh, is a constant. Okay. Then, uh, let, this is my re uh, this is repeat what I said before. Our motivation is very from the picture I show you the figure eight picture. The water wave is of this size, and the uh, LS is also of this size. So with with the whole, this is our original motivation. Um, so uh, because this modulation or approximation, we expect that we can propagate the instability to the water wave problem. Um, for the instability modulation, the linear modulation or instability for so uh, other classes uh, of uh, dispersive PD, for example, BBM or KD, uh, KDV type equation, it was also uh, it was obtained, they are obtained by Jin Liao and Lin uh, in 2017. Now let me do some explicit computation to, to see the clear instability of uh, the Schrodinger problem. Uh, this is uh, this like focusing qubit NS, and uh, if I erase this, this is this is uh, oh I forgot this I. So this is this will be the corresponding spatial solution in the NS scale. Uh, uh, um, uh, then I just uh, linear uh, then I just linearize the equation. I, I mean I just find an equation for this W. And the W satisfy the following condition. Looking looking at the linear part of this equation, we can have we have the following explicit computation. Uh, if the frequency is small enough, uh, this produce uh, exponential growth. If the frequency is large, then the solution disperses. So we will use uh, the small frequency to uh, to produce exponential growth to produce the exponential growth of the linear for the linear equal for the, from the linear linear problem, and uh, because this is a semi-linear problem, one can use the Hamel formula and etc. to easy, to easily propagate uh, the instability from the linear level to the nonlinear level. So anyway, uh, for the linear problem. We can uh, we can uh, uh, we can uh, we can uh, for the linear problem we can use the linear instability uh, instability and the Duhamel formula and the, the linear uh, because it's a semi-linear problem the linear behavior dominate the, the behavior of the solution uh, dominate the, uh, the behavior of the linear problem 
and uh, we can see the instability at the uh, at least uh, at least time scale. Okay, so for the NOS, in order to see the instability, we need to wait for of all. I think I want to write log log uh, or speak all log one of the delta. So uh, for the instability of NOS, I need to wait for log uh, one of delta. But we know from the scaling uh, in the modulation or approximation. Uh, uh, for the uh, for the water wave problem, I need to wait for epsilon three minus two log one over delta. Okay. Uh, in all, then uh, uh, here I can briefly discuss uh, how to propagate uh, the instability uh, from the, the linear problem, the, the NS to the water wave problem. So we need to con construct some approximate solution. Uh, yes, this is our uh, this uh, uh, these are just tr truncation of the the expansion, and we can build the, our approximation approximate solution built, uh, based on this expand truncation and the original Stokes wave, and for this uh, then we can see, we look at the error term, the, the error term uh, produced by this. Uh, Approximate solution, and uh, for this error term, we can we can uh, we can prove that uh, it's under control on this time scale. Okay. Um, all right. This is uh, uh, this uh, also repeat myself in the NLS problem. In order to see the instability, I need this log one over delta. Then from the uh, modulation or approximation. I hope to recall you that uh, I do uh, epsilon t do such a scaling. So, uh, in order to see the instability in the wave uh, in the water wave problem, I need uh, I need to we need to justify the approximation uh, on this time scale. Okay. So with the approximation uh, approximate solution constructed above and uh, the error term given above. We can prove the following. Uh, we can prove the following uh, estimate on this time scale. Okay. Um, so let me just show you a toil model. So for this toil model, uh, this more or less plays the, the law of uh, this capital U more or less play the law of uh, Stokes wave, and this is uh, some simplified version of the Stokes. It's, I should say, extremely simplified the water wave problem. Then for this, uh, for if uh, then if I consider the perturbation perturbation uh, to capital U of this form, I can compute the equation for little w, and if this uh, little w satisfy this uh, initial assumption, this is the size for the initial data, then on this time scale, epsilon to the minus two log uh, delta to the minus one, uh, I, ha I have this overall, con overall control. The, I think the key, the key point is we need to understand the size of these air terms quite uh, well. So this is delta square, this, eps this epsilon, this epsilon square, this delta, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, Analyze the each uh, each each term on the right hand side carefully. So, all right, this is a toy model. Now let me quickly show you something technical. Uh, you will be very quick. So in order to show uh, to 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 do analysis for R for a sufficiently long time, uh, we need to um, work on some quantity related to R, which is better suit for the for the water wave problem. So this is some um, the quantity I uh, related to R. So we do the do this uh, uh, one minus here. This is the here but transformation here but transformation. Uh, this is te technical. Then uh, for this row, the right hand uh, after I apply, we applied the water wave the evolution lean uh, to it the right hand side. Have the 
on the right hand side has a good structure to put, uh, to do the energy estimate. All right, then uh, here, maybe let me quickly, uh, uh, let me skip them, just uh, define the energy with respect to this row and uh, uh, one can do the energy estimate and uh, obtain a uh, 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 energy uh, uh, obtain the upper bound for this energy, and uh, so uh, overall, you know, on this time scale, we can nicely control the energy of R. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, since I'm my time is uh, is limited, let me see. Yeah. Uh. Maybe I can still discuss something here. So, uh, all right. So we can, we 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 choose our approximate uh, the initial some approach, uh, We choose some initial data, uh, and then the approximate solution can be constructed from the the NLS problem and the modulation of approximation. Uh, then the initial the, with such initial data, the existence of uh the water wave problem is guaranteed on this time scale. So this is our, this, this is again technical, just uh, try to show you the general theorem we, we, had, that we have. So uh, we, can, we can use the NLS problem, uh, we can use the NLS, NLS solution to construct uh, initial data for the approximate, uh, in, uh, I mean, use, use the NLS solution, the NLS, sorry, we can construct the, in, the approximate data from the NLS, NLS problem. Then we can consider the, 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 the initial data uh, um, sufficiently close to the <coughs> uh, approximate initial data. Then, this uh, with this initial data, the solution to the water wave problems is exist on this uh, on this scale. Moreover, this is the important thing: the the solution to the water wave problem stay close to the approximate uh the approximate solution given by the modulation of approximation. Okay, this is. Really this is the key point. Uh, on this time scale, uh, the, uh, the full water wave problem stay close to the approximate solution. Uh, let me take uh, two or three minutes. So here is the explicit uh, computation for the instability. We can, because the instability for the NS is explicit, we can take the explicit in initial data from NLS. And uh, the NLS, uh, um, the leading order or the leading order from the NLS problem can be, uh, can be computed explicitly. It's, 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 uh, it's of this order. And uh, after I uh, put, uh, put the NLS solution back to the uh, approximate uh, wave, pack uh, the wave package, the capital B, it's of this form. There are some, uh, there are some actual terms like this. Now, from this explicit computation, we have the following conclusion: this, uh, this guy, this leading order, uh, this wave form um, in the leading order behavior is fundamentally different from e to the i alpha. E to the I alpha is uh, is the Stokes wave. This the due to the appearance of this term, um, the, uh, the the period of uh, the fundamental period of uh, this guy is different is is very different from the Stokes wave. So uh, by this explicit the, the, this explicit computation for the leading order term. We uh, we 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 can conclude that the uh, some large scale structure uh, the large scale structure is produced by the instability of NLS and this is propagated to the water wave problem. Okay. Um, 
finally, let me let me say this. I think for our the mechanism here, if a dynamical and mass mass critical the modulation or instability under long wave perturbation, we have in we we have like you we 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 know that uh what wave is modulation or uh, approximate by unless we we know the instability of unless then by this modulation or approximation. This instability is propagated to the water wave problem, and this instability tells us the modulation or instability of Stokes wave. Uh, all right, so here is why I want to stop. Uh, thank you very much. I hope I'm not lost in everyone. <laughs>